So our detention barn's an effective tool for improving water quality. Hi, I'm Matt Highway from Living Water. Today we're going to talk about two things. One, how detention bunks function for water quality, and two, how they might work in a catchment sense. Uh, just hold on to the end of the video, we will provide you a PDF of more information. So a detention barn is essentially that, it's a dam within the landscape. And the reason why we build them is to capture really peak flows during high intensity rainfall events. So as you can imagine in a normal catchment, uh, rain is barreling down the catchment during high rainfall events, picking up sediment, nutrients and depositing them in um, freshwater bodies. Uh, this, these detention buttons allow us to sort of slow that flow down, capture some of the nutrients and sediment and let it out very slowly so the um, effect downstream is far less. The reason why we're trialling a detention bone as a tool in Northland for water quality is we get a high lot of rainfall, very steep catchments, uh, the soil doesn't absorb a lot of water, so as you can imagine during rainfall events it's really uh, barreling down these catchments picking up nutrients and sediment. What the, a whole lot of detention buns might be able to do is store that water and let it out slowly so the impact is far less. Uh, velocity of water in the streams is reduced, so bank erosion is reduced, uh, habitat for fish and invertebrates is maintained, um, but we can also capture sediment. Uh, as the water slows down, sediment may be able to drop out much better. The last thing also is uh, we have residence time for water too, so that allows the microbes in the soil to digest some of the nitrate and release it as a harmless M2 gas. So the retention button behind me is an individual tool to see how well they work uh, in an individual basis. But you can imagine a whole lot of these in a catchment, how much uh, flow would slow down, velocity of water in the streams would be uh, much reduced, uh, it'll pick up less sediment, less nutrients on its way down, but also give the uh, soil and water an ability to absorb those nutrients and sediment before it gets into our precious water bodies. So detention barns and the retention barn behind me, they're, they're expensive. This one here costs around 20,000 New Zealand dollars to build. Uh, so we have to be really careful where we're putting them in the landscape that they're going to have the greatest benefit. Uh, so what Living Water is doing is finding out exactly how they work at an individual basis, but also we want to scale these up into a catchment sense uh, so that we know how they function uh, holistically. Uh, check out the PDF at the end of this video for more information.